morning students how are you today wow that's wonderful so before we start let us stand for a short prayer are you ready in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen heavenly father thank you for this day help us to understand our new lesson and guide our ways in jesus name amen in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen good morning once again so is there any absent for today wow that's wonderful so now let now let us recall our classroom rules we have number one be prepared number two be productive and number three we have be participative okay are we good all right so i have here several sentences and let us read all of them and identify if they state a command or a request are you ready all right so sentence number one kindly give my book is it a command or a request a yes sir a request well done so next clean the house right away it is a command or a request yes jason i saw you you're raising your hand a command wonderful now how about this one give me a pair of scissors yes feline a command very good next sentence please take the dog for a walk yes ken it is a request perfect now how about the last one take a bath later yes john it is a command good job now i have here another set of sentences and let us identify if the verb is in the simple past tense or past perfect tense are you ready okay sentence number one i can't believe she ate my sandwich so the verb or the underlined word is ate so now it is is it a simple past tense or past perfect tense it is a simple past tense amazing next he had done his homework so he was allowed to eat with us so the verb there is had done now is it the past perfect tense or past a simple past tense past perfect tense well done how about the next sentence she watched television throughout the afternoon so the verb there is watch so it is a simple past tense wonderful now the next sentence i hadn't thought of going to italy before she she suggested it so the verb there is hadn't thought so is it a past perfect tense very good how about the, the last one my dog reads my dress i was so upset i had both i had both it this morning so the verb there is had both so is it a past tense or simple past perfect tense past perfect tense fantastic now i have here a movie poster everybody look has anyone watched this movie okay so what is the title of this movie the four sisters and a wedding correct the movie tells a story about five siblings and how do they deal about family matters now before we proceed choose a partner for our activity so this is called the anticipated guy you will going to check if you know something about the movie so i will give 
uh, each pair of students a copy of the anticipated guide and please answer the left side of it. Are you ready? Okay, now let us watch the video and you can now answer the right side of it and the right side of the anticipated guide while watching the video clip. Okay. Please pass the guide to the front. One, two, three. All right. So students, what happened when Chidora told the truth to her family? So did the mother get angry? No. Okay. So why is that so? Yes, Shala? Exactly. The mother didn't get mad because she loved Chidora. All right. So what we saw was a perfect example of a family solving a so resolving a problem. Now Tudora told what happened to her as an OFW. So she was afraid to reveal it because she thought everyone will see her as a failure. Now, did the family see her that way? Hmm? No. That's right. What Chidora did made her free from what? From what she is afraid to tell. Remember, it is important to seek your family's help in solving problems and improving yourselves. Right. So now let us examine a few sentences from the video clip. Sentence number one. Let, let us read. Teddy, say the truth. It's about time. Sentence number two. Please tell me Roberta. Sentence number three. Roberta, let Teddy choose what tag she wants. Now, what type of sentences are these? Yes, Mark. They are imperative sentence. Correct. What does an imperative sentence express? Yes, Monica. Very good. An imperative sentence expresses a command or a request. Now let us examine, let us examine the first sentence. Everybody read. Teddy, say the truth. It's about time. As you mentioned earlier, this is an imperative sentence. Now it is expresses a command or a request. Now what word in this sentence express a command or a request? Yes, Angelou. The word say, very good. So what part of speech does say belong to? It is a verb, well done. So let us examine the second sentence. Please tell me, Roberta. So what word was used in the sentence to express a command or a request? The word tell, okay, exactly. What part of speech does tell belong to? It is a verb. Fantastic. Now, let us study the third sentence. Roberta, let Daddy choose what bag she wants. What word in the sentence express a command or a request? Yes, Jaffer. The word let. Good job. So what part of speech does let belong to? It is a verb. Correct. After studying in the sentence says, what part of speech expressed a command or a request? Yes, Giselle. Very good. The verb expressed a command or a request. Remember that in every imperative sentence, there is a verb that expresses a command or a request. They are called what? Imperatives. So we use imperatives in the sentences in which you tell someone what to do, right? So it is also important to use the correct preposition for every imperative sentence. Let us examine this picture. Okay. What imperative sentence can we make using this picture? Yes, Isaac? 
take the trash. All right. Well done. So what is the imperative used in the sentence? The word pig. Exactly. Why did we use the word pig as an, as an imperative in, as an imperative instead of other word? Very good. We use pig because we have to get the trash in the picture. Though the sentence is correct, it lacks something. So let us try to put down the picture. Okay, using the sentence given, do we still um, know where to pick the trash? Yes, Paul? No. So why is that? Correct. We don't know where to pick the trash because we don't know its location. Right? In every command or request, we should be specific. We have to use prepositions that tells a location to do the command correctly. Right? So let us put back the picture. Now, how can we improve the sentence using a preposition? Yes, Michelle. Pick the trash before or beside the tree. Excellent. So let us examine another picture. Okay, construct an imperative sentence out of this picture if you want someone, somebody to buy milk. Okay, yes, Glidel. Please buy milk beside our house. Correct. Did we use the correct preposition for the sentence? Yes, why? Very good. Beside states a location. If you can choose another preposition to use, what would it be? By, near, what else? Next to. Alright, so why can we use them? That is true. As we can see in the picture, the house is just beside or near the store. So we can use by, near, or next to. Now, let us have a group activity. Okay, group yourselves into four. Two members from each group will do a short skit and use an imperative and a preposition. So you will show a scene about an experience from your family that made you learn a lesson. So I will give you a scenario to help you make a skit. So the remaining members from the group will have to identify the imperatives and preposition used in the sentence. Okay? I will also give everyone a sad and happy face card. So as soon as the group explains their answers, I will raise the happy face if they are correct. So I will raise the sad face if they are not. Alright? Are you ready? Okay, the first situation is about telling a personal problem. So the scenario is, you will found, uh, you found out that your son failed a test in math. Okay, so what will, you, what will you say to know the reason behind it? So choose from the following imperatives and prepositions. Your situation number two is about getting help in decision making. So the scenario is, your daughter needs an advice about choosing what course to be in college. So choose from the following imperatives and prepositions. So take your time. I think every group is prepared. Let us have the group one. Thank you, group one. Is it a sad face or happy face? It is a happy face. How about the group two? Congratulations, group two. Is it a happy face or sad face? Happy face. How about the group number three? Congratulations, group number three. Is it a sad face or happy face? It is a happy face. How about the group number four? The last presenter. Congratulations, uh, group four. Is it a sad face or happy face? It is a happy face. Well done, students. Let us give ourselves a sounding applause. Okay. Now, students, 
What should we remember in creating an imperative sentence? Yes, Michael? Exactly. We have to use an imperative. Okay, what else? Glenn? Perfect. We should also use prepositions to make the sentence what? A specific. Now, for your quiz, let us create an imperative sentence out of these pictures. So, after, after writing the sentence, exchange your words with your partner and examine their answers. Check if your partner uh, used correct imperative and prepositions. Are you finished? Okay, pass your papers. One, two, three. All right. So for your assignment, construct an imperative sentence using this set of pictures. Take note of using the correct imperatives, prepositions, proper punctuation, and capitalization. So I think it's already time. Let us all stand for a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, for guiding us throughout the discussion. Help us to remember all those things that we tackle and will apply it in our lives. Guide us and protect us. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye class and see you tomorrow.